Yes. Have you got gloves on? Are you ready? Give me a punch. I'm ready, sir. I... Now I'm into I'm I'm into bare knuckle now. Oh, whoa. oh even more. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to say things like that to us, bro. Oh, bare knuckle. Um, That's got another meaning. It's been well, a while. <laughs> you can see you haven't changed. Welcome to the Rajan Pablo show. Oh, thank um, you. Always a pleasure, man. You've been good. I've been good. I've been good. How, how have you been? Uh, we've yeah, been we've good been... Um, at home, just growing my hair. You yeah, know, I can see. Not to put on weight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm but, but, like everybody else, but glad that but we're, we're able over. To do you know one of the things we're really overjoyed about? The fan is coming out. We've been waiting for this for such a long time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, how's the wait been for you? Because you know it's been coming, then not, and then understandably because of what's been going yeah, on. But yeah. have you been getting through it? Um, no, I, I'm, I've been fine actually. I mean, every time the films got pushed, it has got pushed for for reasons that are way bigger than. <clears throat> me complaining about a date of release you know so you absolutely understand that i mean there's just there was too much conflict too much pain too much grief all around it wasn't the time to be going out there and celebrating anything actually indeed indeed but you know um, watching the promos watching the actual trailer uh, wow the intensity of what you're doing it's oh, thank you thank you so much what that, that, you that, that should what come as a surprise to us though for him because i mean uh, we saw with Bag Milka Bag, you really throw yourself into everything. And again, this is a new avatar, a different type of body, different type of mindset. So can you talk us through the role first. Um, yeah, well, um, as, as the trailer uh, promises and shows that it is the, the, this journey of a boxer who goes from being like this street goon um, and, you know, finding a, a larger purpose in life. Um, and working towards uh, creating just a better tomorrow and a better life for himself. Um, but that's one aspect of the film. Uh, there's many layers to it and there's a lot in the subtext which will reveal itself when you see it. But um, so apart from the boxing, of course, which always is exciting to do because there'll be a physicality to it and all that will happen. Um, what really, really um, kind of stood out for, for me in, in putting this film together and doing it was um, that when you when you kind of peel away all those layers, you know, uh, what you will feel and what you will feel, uh, recognize when you see the film um, is that it's a film talking about the importance of, <clears throat> the importance of love and the importance of acceptance, understanding um, and empathy uh, in very wounded times, yes. you know? So uh, that's that's really what the film is about. And we've, we've chosen to represent those times through the, the violence or the brutality of boxing, so to speak, you know, and how does someone who is is a part of this world still find inner peace and still find something to to celebrate in terms of of, of relationship and of life? Um, me, and, and, me and Pablo were talking about this. You know, the the message of this film, from what you're seeing, from what we glean, is yeah. so relevant with what everyone's going through at the moment. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, but, and in terms of playing a boxer uh sorry Raj we'll come back to you in a minute in terms of playing a boxer um has it because I mean you know the general impression somebody who plays a boxer macho uh, always thinking about the next fight worried about their diet um have you kind of um found different levels of a person who would be a professional boxer um so I didn't I didn't really understand that sorry your voice no, dropped it, off has it has it kind of humanized what society would kind of think of um, in terms of the persona of a boxer? Um, I mean, for me, definitely, you know, but the thing is that I, I've always been a fan of the sport um, and not only of, of watching it live when it happens, um, like watching title fights whenever they were shown on, on, on television here, but also watching a lot of documentaries about boxers. I always have. I've had a fascination for for their lives. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, of course, starting with like the greatest of all time, who probably has the most documentaries and the most films and videos dedicated to him, Muhammad Ali, and rightfully so. Um, but from him, but every, every single boxer's journey, be it Manny Pacquiao, you know, be it uh, Triple G, be it Joe Frazier, you know, um, all of them, um, you, you do see that, I mean, every boxer comes from 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 wanting to rise from from a, a system that never allowed them to yeah. to fulfill their potential you know so whether it's injustice whether it's inequality whether it's racism 
you know whether it's being steeped in poverty and just not being allowed to like find a way out of it so you find yourself in crime you find yourself in different from broken families from drugs um and it it takes somehow that special moment or a special person and everyone all these stories have that one thing in common you know that they there's someone that they met at some point in their life who who convinced them and made them believe that they are that they are here for something bigger than just that um and to me that it's it's just incredible and that that's that's like a consistent theme mm-hmm. in all their stories that the, the the person who discovered this talent in them or who kind of encouraged them to to give up a certain life and move to something better um and so i you know i this understanding of what it takes to be a boxer was always there but you don't really really realize it till you start putting yourself through it you know the the kind of dedication that's needed to be able to perform and of course i mean i'm performing at the best possible level that i could achieve but when you think of the level that they are at and that they are performing at it's it's an incredible feat of of physical endurance it is a brutal sport it's a brutal sport and to be able to do it at that level and do it consistently at that level is it's i mean it's 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 absolutely incredible so what did you, what process did you have to do to get yourself into that shape how long did that take um it was it was 8 months of just hard training wow um so we train twice a day um the the morning session would be roughly about 3 hours long uh, which was dedicated purely to boxing and nothing else um so starting from when i first began it was just learning the abc's of stance and and where your guard needs to constantly be you know uh, starting from there working your natural ability work, working your form to doing drills over and over again to hitting bags to just everything that a boxer goes through and then finally you work your way to coming into the ring you know uh, then sparring in the ring was like the, one of the final things that kind of happened to get a sense of what it's like to be with an opponent who who's as interested in taking you down as you are in taking them down you know um so if we went through the whole yourself? process you, sorry you know when you were in the boxing ring and you were filming did you hurt yourself i actually physically ever get uh... oh yeah absolutely absolutely uh, you know the thing is that when we were i mean boxing is a contact sport and there's there's only that much you can fake you know when you're when you're shooting it so you are prepared you know you're prepared to be hit you know that every single punch that is going to land on your body is going to be a real punch it they're not going to fake it it is going to be a real punch and there are certain there were moments in it where you know that you have to get hit on your face and that that we always uh, we'd always refer to it as taking one for the team <laughs> and and it, and it would happen but uh, i mean absolutely i mean i got hit i i hit others back um i i fractured this this hand while while we were filming um so it it really was it was the real deal you know i mean there was no faking it it was it was absolutely um uh, living that life and 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 fighting those fights like they they should be fought what made you guys decide that you're doing another sports film because bag milk a bag was so phenomenally successful yeah um like i said raj you know i mean it really was um it, it was for me this film i mean of course boxing is is a huge aspect of it and it's the backdrop of it but no sport film and and you've seen enough to know no sport film really is about the sport you know it, it's about the people who 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 take part in it it's about the people who participate in it it's about the person who wears the gloves it's not really mm-hmm. about the gloves <clears throat> uh, or it's not about those 3 minutes it it's about what is driving you it's what is it that you're fighting for what is it that you're trying to prove why is it that when you fall down do you not just stay there what are you getting up for to why do you want more punishment you know so uh, it really is that that's what the film is about it's about this journey and no two people and no two sports people will ever have the same journey you know they're always fighting for something different and and that's what ajub bhai is doing he's fighting for for something in this film well before hey, we let you go come on give give us your best left hook my best left hook because that's the only thing i know about boxing. well yeah, i'm in the i'm in the strangest possible position to be doing it sitting down <laughs> on a sofa while doing it but but yeah i mean you know that the thing is i mean like everyone has of course a left hook but the uh-huh. thing what you get to learn <clears throat> is how important it is that like, while you're doing this for yeah. i mean of course this hand to stay up as as your guard 
and right. and to not and not admire what you've done you know which <laughs> <laughs> to not admire is is to come back immediately because whenever you throw a punch is when you are at your most um uh, how would you call it? and you're your most vulnerable because you've dropped you've you've revealed the side of your face and something is definitely coming back well farhan it has been a pleasure talking to you as always <laughs> thank you very very much oh thank you raj thank you bablo rockus avenue radio